uh, about the evolution theory, Darwinism. Um, yes. It's very difficult to to preach to people to explain that uh, that that this is a hoax and that man was created by God. How? What is your way to preach about it? What is your well, strategy? So plentiful, so much we have talked about that subject that I got bored of the subject. There is a series published by ah, one Muslim. His name is Hanun Jaja. And we translated all of his work in DVDs into Spanish. It's a fabulous work. He's taking the same arguments of the atheists to say, look how sophisticated it is, there's no need of God. He just turns around, see, how, look how sophisticated it is, only God could have done that. So it's just a question of what you, the focus you want to take. Many people, they are very great scientists and they believe in God very strongly. And others, they utilize science to say, I don't need to believe anything, there's nothing to be believed in. That's basically the rock bottom of it. Even if evolution would be the reality, even if Darwin would have come up with the true conception, it still doesn't mean it wasn't God who created it. Huh? So it's actually a no, it's, okay. it's actually a hoax argument <coughs> that because there was an evolutionary process that God, therefore God was not involved. But the way he does it, Haurun Jajja, is that he shows it with such nitty-gritty detail that it's obviously it cannot be by chance. And he finds for that an approximately 20,000 valid arguments, not 20. He just goes on and on and on. He doesn't tire from bringing up new arguments to prove it. And then uh, comes OIDA therapy. It's the next step. Because if God did, if the world didn't develop by chance, so then what was God's plan so that we may contact Him? So that we may know something about Him? And that's where the faith element comes in as a bright light. Not just some, like faith, in the, in the faith therapy, uh, faith is not something like which appears like a slight notion of consciousness which, okay, he had faith. No, it is the bright light of our existence that we can believe, that we need to believe. It's the gift. It's the most greatest giftedness. This tree, he doesn't have to have faith. But he grows. And he goes after the light and goes the roots go down to the water. But it is so much planted there, it, it doesn't it's not noticeable whether he has face or not. But the animal already has face. You can see the animal has face and you like this, no? So uh, and the humans have such a refined faith that they talk about transcendence and they talk about does this transcendence really give me, does it give me, uh, a chance to know about my own origin, going deeper into this, the science of the origin of all. So you will see all this material, you'll be amazed. Harun Jaja is hated by the science community. They can't stand him because he simply defeats them all the time. He made something called a book called the Atlas of the Universe. He sent it to all the schools in the world for free. He has some rich petrol dollars sponsoring his work. <laughs> they hate him. 